Gerard Butler. What a badass dude. London Has Fallen stars Gerard Butler, Aaron Eckhart, and Morgan Freeman reprising their roles from the first film. It's about when guard for the president Mike Banner must protect himself as well as the president from an attempted assassination upon all the world leaders, which is being executed by a group of Pakistanians. Now, I hadn't really known much about this film going into it, I just know that I wanted to see a movie, and my dad was just like, hey, let's go see this one. And I must say that London Has Fallen is an extremely flawed movie, but I certainly did have a fun time. I mean, for starters, Gerard Butler and Aaron Eckhart work off each each other perfectly in this film. You can tell that they don't only have the bodyguard and president relationship, but that the two are also genuinely friends just because of their excellent camaraderie on screen. Morgan Freeman is kind of just there in this movie. I mean, I don't really have any comments to say about his performance. He, he was okay, I guess. However, since we're still talking about positive, the writing here is not the worst. There are some solid lines between Eckhart and Butler, which while people, some people will be like, oh, this is just really stupid. I actually found them to be a really good comedic relief, and I was laughing a lot during the movie. However, veering into negatives, Babak Najafi, I don't know if I pronounced his name correctly, but I'm sorry if I didn't. Anyways, his direction is very odd in this movie. He'll have some scenes that go at a very weird frame rate. He also has some shots that look absolutely unconvincing and unrealistic. And while we're talking about unconvincing and unrealistic, this film is a shoe in for the worst visuals of the year and some of the worst visuals I've seen put to screen. I know a lot of people are saying this, but it looks like someone just downloaded like the action FX app. You guys know what I'm talking about. And it, they just like overlaid it into some scene. They're like, oh dude, this looks real. Upload it to YouTube. And then people are like, hey, for an amateur, you're okay. But I don't know what the budget this movie had, but this is a, this is a like wide film in theaters. And for it to look like that, it's it's got awful. It doesn't match with the background at all. The scenery is just all messed up, and it really, really, really takes you out of the viewing experience. Why am I doing this? I, I, I don't know. With all that said, however, I would still say that London Has Fallen belongs perfectly in that seven dollar and eighty eight Blu Ray section in Walmart. If I saw it there, yeah, I would, I would pick it up. So at the end of the day, I'm gonna give London Has Fallen a C plus. Alright, so now that I said what I wanted to say about this film, you guys let me know what you thought. Have you seen London Has Fallen? Have you not? If you have, leave in the comments below what you thought of it, if you liked it, if you hated it. And if you haven't seen it, let me know if you are going to see it or if you're not going to see it and for which reason. And as always, if you haven't already, hit the share, like, and if you haven't already, subscribe button. And as always, for the second time, thank you guys so much for watching. And until my next review, I'm Random Mr. 411 and I will see you all later.